Hello and welcome back to Fallout New Vegas. If you're still loaded under the mag, let's head back to the Mojave Wasteland. Oh, I should have waited till morning. There is a band of assassins outside, and it's easier to fight them in the daylight, I think. Well, morning light, anyway. Let's go pop some legion legionaries. Ye legionaries? No, just legionaries. Uh, they're right over there somewhere. They're supposed to travel towards the player whenever, well, ever since they spawn. So it's kind of curious how they keep catching up to me here. It is possible that this particular group is playing by different uh, rules. Also, back to hidden and to caution. I'm not entirely certain which group sees me. Oh my. There's also more rats. There's also that to consider. Alright, we're good. We're hidden. Alright. Can't see anyone. There's a mole rat. It's best we let the legion deal with the mole rats, I think. On the other hand, I don't see a sign of the legion. You would think that if they sent a scout ahead, they would also go and check out why he's suddenly gone. Uh, actually, I should wait with looting him because he has some valuable stuff which I want to sell to Gibson. That's right. There we go. That is probably the least powerful target. I should have chosen someone else. Who oh, is that guy? He kept flopping around like a big ass when I was doing this earlier. Oh no, did you? Tell me you did not damage my robot. It is unconscious? Oh right, because this motherfucker has... We need to. We need this guy dead. We need this guy dead now. Now. Stop hurting my friends. You like that, Boon? Oh, you're alive. Good. No, still in trouble. Kinda need those steam packs. I need those steam packs. Steam packs? No, steam packs right now. Also, shotgun maybe. No, that doesn't seem to do much. The critical strike barely caused damage. We still have someone else. Yeah, that's legionary, all right. I'm uh, hit. Luckily for me, I managed to hit it in a way that made him drop his weapon and confuse him for a second. Maybe even two. Still not sure what's up with the worst heads because quite sure I should have gotten a headshot there for a moment. And there we got one. Anyway, I think. Anyway, I hope. Alright, Edie. Boon. Get up, you're not dead yet. You did come close there. I admit that much. Lots of goodies. I want to take the Centurion armor as well because that's also really expensive, but uh, for that I think I need to return to this particular area. Is the prime the prime armor is pretty shite, I don't need that. Uh sort of shotgun, yeah. Don't take the spears. Alright. Here are two corpses. Oh right. Now there's one on the road, right? And then one was over there somewhere. Oh look, Brahmin. Well, actually, oh look, trade the caravans. Maybe I should try selling this stuff to them instead. Um, since, you know, they're right in the area. And um, maybe I should. Hi. Uh, pardon me, I'm gonna try selling you stuff, maybe? Or am I? I don't know. 
if I am, I should uh, probably, uh, for one, repair my hunting rifle. Yeah, look at that, F full condition. And then put on my rolling trader hat because I'm a rolling trader now. Hello. Hey there. Need anything? Yes. Maybe. Sure. Here's what I've got. Woo. That looks like stuff. I will scroll through that. I'm gonna be jealous of the inventory. I honestly don't know if I have anything else I need to sell to her. So, um, let's go pick up that extra armor and see if we can catch that one as well. Uh, because I'm more likely to catch up to her than I'm to catch up to the other party. Yeah. Um, this one had the prime armor, right? The prime armor was the expensive-ish one. Well, Centurion. I'm not even. So by now, yeah, the prime armor must be shite. I might as well head back to Gibson. We can still catch up to the, one of those parties. We don't have much to sell them. But we can check out their inventory. Maybe they have something interesting. It doesn't always have to be me who buys everything. Hey there. Sell anything? Anything even. Yeah, let's take a look. Wow, that's a lot of money at least. Plenty of money there. And looks like... I don't know, she, she might certainly have something interesting, but... Um, I'm just gonna sell her more armor. You know. Stay safe, girl. Have a nice trip. First I was like, who is this guy? Why is he here? Then I realized this is a centurion! Having ground corpses in this doesn't isn't nearly as easy as it is in uh, what you call it G mod. Was waving around someone's corpse in that recently? That was silly. Yeah. All right. Now I have a plan. Why is there a quest marker? What is my current quest? Oh, ring a ding 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 ding. I'm gonna go do that one instead. Also, maybe we could pick up someone from there. Because I added a mod that does allow me to recruit more people. I know I said I intended not to, but you know, one thing left to another. One thing hey. things seem work again. Hello, Usanagi, I need implants. You're back. Do you need medical attention? You could say that. All right, let me do a quick test to make sure your body can handle another implant. All right, you're healthy enough to handle another one. Which surgery are you considering? Um, charisma. The empathy synthesizer will allow you to more easily pick up on subtle emotions and body language. The price is 4,000 caps. Done. Have a seat in the auto dock. This will take a few hours. I need an extra 1,000 caps so we can do the last bit as well. You're back! Yeah, yeah. Uh, implant. And agility. The reflex booster does exactly what it says. Speeds up your reaction times. For 4,000 caps, I can attach the implant to your central nervous node. Thank you. Have a seat in the auto dock. This will take a few hours. Wait, what is my current strength? Hello. Because I'm kind of afraid that my current strength. No, it's six. Interesting. So. Oh, right. I can switch back to my actual hat. Uh, this needs six. Okay. You're back. Do you need medical attention? Toss me an implant. Uh, I'd like more strength. I can implant the hypertrophy accelerator for 4,000 caps. It will boost your adrenal glands and quickly increase your muscle mass. Thank you. Have a seat in the auto dock. This will take a few hours. And now I should be broke, right? Yeah, I need 800 extra caps for that. And I don't have that money. Um. Wait till morning. Sounds like a good idea. Unless we're faced with a radiation storm in the morning, which we are not, so it, it's fine. It's all good. 
look at that Brahmin. Still surprised to see, have seen a Brahmin go on a mole rat killing spree. Quite sure that is a reference to things going the other way in the past. Those are carnivorous. Carnivorous, or whatever you call them. Uh, Brahmins, so we need to kill them all. They're trained to eat flesh. Eat this! Flesh! Flesh! How's my stats looking now, by the way? Also, I do hope that is simply an ash storm or whatever you would call that. Because otherwise, I will be pretty unhappy with that situation. Also, my agility is doing quite, quite nicely, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, I do need to up my endurance, I guess. Please tell me you are not a radiation storm. Please tell me you are not a radiation storm. Because if this is a radiation storm, we have to go back and wait in, at the clinic. This is a radiation storm. Great. Back to the clinic we go. What a joy. My radiation level has increased. At least if you run to the clinic, you can also have our radiation treated immediately. So there is that small advantage to experiencing a radiation storm at the given moment. Though I would rather have skipped the whole mess with a radiation storm. Also, ooh, someone has a farm here. Nice. Ah. That's weather though, eh? Eh? Oh, that's what the series has come to be talking about, the weather! Hello. You're back. Do you need medical attention? You could say that, yeah. It'll be easy enough to purge all rads from your system. Do it. Alright, this will only take a few minutes. Thank you. Goodbye. Take care. How much caps did it take? 100. That's not too bad. Um... I don't know how long that storm is gonna last though. Let's take the risk. And bet on a day. Silence. I think the storm has passed. Yes. Excellent. Good. We're gonna head back to the whole place over there now. Maybe I should have had my health healed as well. Oh. Seriously. Did I get a lightning storm? Really? No rain there. Would be nice to get a little rain here. Um, except I cannot be sure that that would not be radioactive. Um, it might no longer be radioactive. It's been a few hundred years. Don't doubt that and we did just have a radiation storm, but that picks up the sand from radioactive spots, I would assume. I assume at least that would be the issue there. But I don't know. I, I'm not very... Despite my character's skill points in science being like 80, I'm mine are probably like 20. If that. Well, I did build a computer. But you know, I had my uncle help me out, so there is that. Um, so that not might not be entirely something to judge by. Ah, look, a shed. We can stop by here. There's some chunkies over there, but I'm, I'm not gonna mess with them. They don't need my help. Because my help would include shooting them. And I'm quite sure they don't actually need to be shot. Alright, we can actually start collecting spatulas again. Because we have a special collecting uh, facility, shall we go, say it? Call it. Maybe. I don't see any spatulas here, there. Savages. With a single spatula. Ooh. A sunset star cap, though, for the sunset sarsaparilla or whichever you call them. Who's that? Oh, that's a plant. Okay, hi. Whoa there, pal. You better slow down, or you'll get blown up like the rest of the idiots who thought they'd scavenge in Boomer territory. 
Now that I've got your attention, might you be interested in a little information? It'll cost you, but it's well worth the investment. So is your face. Whoa, simmer down. I'll tell you, I'm a gambler and a scavenger. I've made some cash from gambling and some cash from reclaiming goods that are no longer being used. Now, do you want my help or not? What's going on, Bastos Sainz? Oh, lordy, lordy. You haven't heard of the boomers? What rock have you been living under? In a grave. A bunch of artillery slinging, grenade lobbing odd jobs camping out in Nellis. Wander into their territory and you're as good as mincemeat. Is there a way to get past? There is a way, and I'll tell you. For a little wager. Let's hear it. Well, I know the secret to get past. If you give me the caps, I'll tell you. If you make it back alive, I'll double your money. Ah, that'll do. Okay, here you go. That page has the details, but it's all in the timing as you move from building to building. I'll be here watching, so I'll know if you've made it to the gate or not. Remember, there's 600 caps in it if you make it. Keep in mind, I don't actually know how to do this properly. What does it say? The key to avoiding artillery is to move from building to building up the northwest side of town toward the front gate. Stick to the high cover in the northeast corner of the two buildings, then make a beeline for the gate. The boomers won't shoot at their own people, so stick to the fence until you make it to the gate. Also, I know there is an old train tunnel that enters the area from the south, but no one has ever come out of there to say it is safe. Oh, so there is an alternative entrance that may or may not be... Uh, less explosive But I'm certain it's less explosive That much should be sure uh. Okay, I should probably move on Yep, standing near a wall didn't help at all I know the dialogue on Minst how high cover should help here Uh, is it impact that? Oh, too late Oh no, ED. Alright, let's not, not get stuck waiting in a corner to see if they will actually fire over here. Because I have a raging suspicion they might actually cover fire over here. How am I supposed to do the whole cover thing? Because the cover doesn't actually help. Uh, also, I'm nearly dead. Um. Bag it and pack it. The fence is over there, we can we can make it to the fence. We can make it to the fence. Well, assuming the we use a few stick bags. And there we go. Fence reached. Um slightly harmed though. Stick some stick bags in them. Yo! Hold it right there. Don't you move. How the hell did you survive that bombardment? Uh, Simple enough. Run, hide, run. It's all in the timing. But I had you zeroed in the whole time. Nobody's that fast. Move a muscle now and I'll blow you to pieces. I didn't come here to attack you. Then just... just stay where you are. Raquel will be here any second. I'll Good take this from here. I'm Raquel, Master at Arms for the Nellis Homeland. Mother Pearl, our eldest, wishes to speak to you. That's a nice fence texture. Uh, all right, lead the way. Follow close and mind your behavior. Welcome, child. Took your sweet time getting here, didn't you? I've been waiting a good five years for an outsider to come along and visit. Look at that rifle texture. All uh, right, uh, how might I be of assistance? Oh, so many ways. Small ones to begin with, so we can get used to what it's like to have a sav uh, outsider around and about. Should that go well, it may be you can help in big ways too. We'll have to see. Alright, how can we trust each other if you're going to be keeping secrets? You have to keep in mind that you're our first contact with the outside world since I was barely a woman. Seclusion has kept us safe. But the world around us is changing. Neon lights in the distance, patrolling robots, soldiers. 
My youngers think our guns can keep out the world. But I think we need to let it in just a little, or become its victim. You're that little bit of the world, child. Welcome to Nellis. Thank you. Where do I start? You picked a good time to stop by, for we're swimming in problems. My youngers can tell you all about it. Raquel could use help with the bug problem. Doc Argyle has wounded he's tending to. And Loyal and Jack might be looking for help with some repairs. Or you could just go see Pete at the museum and hear the story of our people. All you have to do there is listen. Come and go as you like, help or don't help, I leave it up to you. But I hope you'll show my youngers that not every outsider needs to be blown up. Morning. Hello. I can take care of that robot problem for you. Just saying. ED is not a problem. I've had to hear that line so many times already. They don't seem to want to accept it that ED is not the problem. ED is my friend. Uh, yeah, and before you run anywhere... Mother Pearl's instructions are clear. You can move freely around Nellis, and artillery spotters have orders not to fire on you. These are extraordinary privileges. Don't abuse them. Uh, Mother Pearl said you have a bug problem? Long story short, the power failed a few days ago because giant ants have tunneled into the generator room and set up a nest. I led a team down to exterminate them, but there were so many of them. We lost. Two killed, three wounded. Personally, I think it's more than a savage can handle. But if you want to kill those ants and switch the power back on, feel free. Thank you. Uh, I can handle a few ants. Sure, anyone can. But there's more than a few down there. See for yourself. Uh, one other thing. The ants must be eating gunpowder from the munitions down there. Or something. They exploded when hit by a flamethrower. One of us was using a laser pistol. Same thing. Bullets seem okay, just don't hit the artillery shells. Loyal's been working on some kind of weapon to use against them. Maybe you should check with him. I will. But anyway, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. It's not like the courier is actually gonna start the family anytime soon. And well, with that in his pants, I don't think he's gonna start the family. Never.